You sure scared me. So how'd you figure out the code anyhow? Name one Fellini movie without a carnival. I was going to give you a half an hour to get here after the phone call. You made it in five minutes. I'm embarrassed. Girls should be coy. I overplayed my hand. Well, I'm glad. I was getting cold and bored and mad at you. Mad at me? For making me wait. You are one big pain, Scott. Whatever it is, you blame me or your mom or your dad, one or two, or the school or even Iowa. Is it really Iowa's fault that you're so miserable? Take charge. It's your life. It's up to you to make it good or bad. I do go on. Talk about boring. I am taking charge. Chicago? It's great there. You have a lot of fun. You want me to go to Chicago with you? Yes. Be still, my heart. <laughs> um, no, I understand, officer. It's just that uh, I'm his mother. And I haven't talked to you at least for two hours, so I thought maybe there might be some new development. You just hadn't had a chance to call me. I'm trying to save you a nickel, and I mean, maybe it'd be better if I came down to the station. Oh. Oh. Scott called Shelby. What? Jim? Scott called Shelby. What are we gonna do when we get to Chicago? I don't have any money. Could you see me walking the streets? Can you picture me in one of those sleazy satin numbers with the plastic high heels? <laughs> I'd laugh. Just like everybody else in this stupid state. No guts. You want to play it safe. I don't have enough going against me. I have to have guts. Come on, Shell. You make me laugh. And I really need to laugh. Can he be serious? Do I look like a wishy-washy woman who will follow a man to Chicago regardless of what a fool he's making of himself? No. Scott. I am a woman of principle, a woman of substance. Make up your mind. It's a laugh a minute in Iowa with me or Chicago alone. Heavy on the alone. You never really do stop talking, do you? Please, Scott. Come home. Do that again. I wasn't prepared. I want to take notes. Who is this? Listen, Sergeant Foster, this is Woody Daly. I'm a taxpayer. And if you turkeys can't find those two kids inside of an hour, I'm going to cut your salary to 15 cents a day, and that's excessive. That bean brain hung up on me. Dad, Shelly's home. Shelly's pregnant. Hey. Joke. Not funny. Where the Joke. devil have you two Joke. been? We've been climbing the walls. Don't you have any consideration? Don't you know how to use the telephone? Dad, let us handle this. Scott. I love you. And sometimes I forget to tell you that. But I'm going to make time for you, just for you. And I shouldn't have expected you to... Break it up. He doesn't need all this sappy sentimentality. You're just embarrassing him. Never embarrass a teenage boy. He's crossed the bridge over troubled waters. <laughs> He's what? You've been replaced in his fantasies by moi. Ta-ta! <laughs> <laughs> Where's my money? I use it to buy bus tickets. You can turn them in. I'm sorry. I'll show you some good moves on a basketball court sometime if you'd like. Chicago? What? Wait a minute. You were going to take Shelby to Chicago? But he didn't. Wait, she brought him back to us. What about school? I'm going to tutor him. Bad for his ego, good for his brain. He'll be in AP courses by this time next year. 
We plan to go to Yale together if you can't afford Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> Can I believe this? Scott, talk. I've got to know. I am here, for better or worse, in this family. Can you accept that? All of that? All of us? I think so, Mom. I'm gonna try. Anyway, I'm home. On the range. <laughs> <laughs> Two marriages will continue in a moment. If you to thank for that, he's turned over a new leaf. Yeah, for now. <laughs> Mr. Gloom and Doom. Well, nothing's permanent with kids. That's what makes the miracle. Get some rest. Thank okay, you. Nancy. Thanks, all right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. So what did you say to him, for heaven's sake? Hey, Shell, want to see my dance? Come on, Shell. Come on, tell me everything from the minute you left the house. Mom! Shell! Miss Clark said I could be with friends. You know, you're a right, Oh. All right. Are you okay? Yeah, let him up. Turn his kid into a total neurotic. Only Tanny deserves a little muttering. Come on, sports. Let's blow this joint. I think I'll dedicate my life to the rescue of American boys from their mothers. What? A noble, selfless career. Airhead. <laughs>